Hey, Pastor Kelly coming at you folks with a pretty wild report coming out of Israel right here. Uh, this came out yesterday, uh, published today. It says ISIS is planning major attacks in Israel and the United States. Of course, it's the Israeli news source, so they're going to say Israel first as compared to the United States. But if you read on through the article, the man they interviewed, I'm not going to attempt his name here, is a Ghazi and Salaf official. He's got a lot of Abdus and Allahs in his name. Basically, he's emphasized that uh, the terror organization would be focusing on Israel and the U.S. and viewed these two nations' primary enemies in pursuit of the Islamic Caliphate. He said the United States are at the top of the list of the targets for the Islamic State, which is ISIS. He said the Islamic State educates its people that Israel and the United States are the leaders of the infidels, and we believe that the Israels would be disappeared. That's sick. So in other words, that's exactly what he said, and I think that should be S-I-C-K, as in sick, because the man is sick. And the group is sick. But folks, it's out there. They would rather see Christians and Jews, as he quoted there, disappeared than anything. I think he's been watching way too many of our mob movies, so he must like Western culture a little bit to say something like that. What do y'all think? But bottom line is, these folks, is, this stuff's real. This threat's real. I put out a video uh, Saturday night warning from this very site here. This is really national news warning that um, there was going to be, that they were going to be doing attacks on Easter, and lo and behold, they killed a bunch of Christians in Pakistan on Easter, just like they said they would. Folks, these people are real. We can blow them up in the desert all we want, leader here, a little tent there, but they're everywhere. They're like cockroaches. I mean, I, the best, praise God, the best I can put it, they're like cockroaches. They're everywhere. You stomp one and another and comes up. We all got to be on guard. Let's be safe out there. and let's, let's watch out for this. Christians, I love you, everyone. Non-Christians, I wish you'd turn to Christ. But here's the thing. You got to watch yourselves. It's real. It's getting real. These people are not going to take no for an answer. We've been spared this for a long time. And I don't think they're going to spare us anymore because we've let them in our countries. We've let them take over. Of course, in Israel, they just got to come through those tunnels there in Gaza. But then again, there's tunnels all along our border in Mexico, isn't there? Think about it, folks. Well, this has been a pretty long ramble from Pastor Kelly. So Pastor Kelly's going to tell you the same thing I always do. We love you, but Jesus loves you more. Pray for us. We're praying for you. Pastor Kelly's out of here.